Hey folks, good to see you. Hey listen, uh, my phone uh, has been acting really weird and it's not uploading things it's supposed to upload and it's sending out things it's not supposed to send out. So anyway, I'm kind of stuck in a hard spot here. So here's a very, very low tech solution to a very, very high tech problem. Enjoy today's devotion. <laughs> Well, hello, friends. Good Saturday to you. Well, I'm going to take you for a little ride, only because there's something that I need you to hear. We're going to go into my go into my barn here, and uh, come on, buddy. You want to go? Come on, let's go. Let's go for a ride. And uh, anyway, we're going to go. I want there's something I want you to hear. Hey, Axel, let's go. Want to go? Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's go. We're going to get in this old beat up. Come on. Let's go. Want to go? Atta boy. And this is this is my friend Axel here. He likes to go with me wherever we go. He's uh, five months old now, and uh, he's just full of spit and vinegar, and uh, he's just a great friend. So anyway, um, we're going to start up the old gator here, and uh, Axel and I are just going to take a little ride here, but it's not going to be very far, uh, just because this is really just a sound that I want you to hear, all right? So listen carefully. Hang on, Axel. Did you hear that last? That little. This gator, this old gator that we have, just has the loudest possible breaks. And so whenever you stop, it goes. And I wanted to hear the sound of uh, of uh, breaks because uh, I'm putting on the breaks from what I said last time. I remember last time we were together. I said this Sunday we were going to be in John chapter ten. Well, I feel like the Holy Spirit called an audible, and even though, even though the thrust of the message will still be what I was anticipating it would be from before, um, the the passage is going to be, we're going to be coming from a different place, aren't we, buddy? And uh, it's going to be from Luke chapter 12, where Jesus said in verse 15, and I'll elaborate on the whole thing tomorrow, but where he said that a man's life is not found in the abundance of his possessions. And I want you to think about that, because the point that's the same between both of those passages is that our life is on the inside. Our true life is on the inside. That um, what we have, what's around us, what's going on around us, that's not the true definition of our lives. He says a man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions, that uh, it's it's about something deeper, and it's about something internal. And so, you know, it's just a brief encouragement for you today, that as we go through these times together, as we go through these times, listen, listen, I know that the outside world is changing on you. I know that. But that's not where your life is found. Your life is not found in what you have or even what's going on on the outside or even what you feel like maybe being taken away from you. That's not where your life is. Your life was never there. Remember, Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and you would have it abundantly. And so I just really want you to get your heart and mind ready for that message that you life is still good. And you, it's still good because Jesus Christ, the resurrected Jesus Christ, still lives inside of you through the power of the Holy Spirit and through his word. I want you to walk in that today, that your life is still good because Jesus Christ, who is good, lives inside of you. Hey, I hope you'll be able to be with us tomorrow as I unpack that passage and we just invite the Holy Spirit to come and breathe new life into us. What do you think, Axel? Hey, Axel, you think that's all right? Think that's a good idea? Hey, watch this. I don't know if I can get this on tape or not, but Axel, give me my hat. Give me my hat, buddy. Can you get me my hat? Hey, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Hey, God bless you guys. Have a great day. Remember, remember, live by faith, but walk in wisdom. I love you. See you soon.